Erica Hitt with Salvation Army is joining me now. We're talking about the pandemic's changing a lot of things. What kind of is going on with you guys and what do y'all need help with? Um, right now, we are still uh, servicing the public with our uh, COVID-19 relief, which is rental and utility assistance. Um, we are trying to help in that area and, and do a little homeless prevention. Um, but, you know, we've also seen with the rental eviction starting up, um, you know, those homeless prevention services have not been able to assist a lot of families. Um, we are at capacity in our family shelter. Um, so our biggest goal right now is, you know, with everything that's changed, we are trying to get these families that are in our shelter right now quickly housed through our rapid rehousing program. So it's basically um, going through and assessing the situation, whether it was COVID-19 that brought them here or other circumstances, um, we want to get them back out into housing, um, paying off bad debt working with landlords, past landlords. So we've got a lot of that going on. Um, food vouchers, we're still doing the food vouchers and clothing vouchers for those that are in need. Um, and again, the homeless prevention, the rental and utilities, that's something that um, we're still seeing that call volume coming in. And, and, and that's just a need in the community um, that I don't think is going away anytime soon. As a community member, what, do, what can they do to help you guys? Um, we are still wanting and needing volunteers, whether it's in our community kitchen or with special projects. Um, we do want those volunteers. Safety precautions, you know, are, are being taken at our facilities. Um, but yes, if there are those that, that feel the need to volunteer, then we want to see their face. Um, also, we, um, we are still needing hygiene products, um, socks, underwear, you know, those things that, you know, every day that they do need here in our shelter, um, we, do, we do need those donations from the community. And we rely on the community for most everything that goes out our doors. Do y'all have any big events coming up that y'all might need help with? Um, right now, we are planning and, and trying to get the best plan, the most safe plan for Thanksgiving. Um, I think that's probably going to be our next big project is Thanksgiving. And then, you know, before you know it, our Christmas project, our angel trees fixing to be here. Um, so we are already planning these events. For those events, are y'all needing donations already or is that going to be in a couple weeks, months? Um, I'm going to say probably in, well, next month, next month is September. Um, that's when we will start getting, um, you know, a plan of action going for the volunteers and what we're going to need as far as donations from the community. So yeah, it, it's here already, but next month, September, that's when we will start planning all of those events. I know. I can't believe September is literally <laughs> next week. It has flown by for someone that's maybe needing help, you know, March, it started the pandemic and it's still continuing. If I need help, what's the best way to get in contact with y'all and what could y'all do to help? Um, okay, it's uh, calling the main number 806-765-9434. Um, that is our office to social services. Um, and, and that's where the screening will take place. You know, every household is different and, you know, an intake will be done and we'll see where we, where we can help, you know, that household. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to send it over to Heidi.